Thank you, ma'am. Thirty first. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and let's open up in prayer. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this beautiful Saturday, Lord. Thank you, Father, for the women who have come out for this ladies' Bible study today, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that your presence is here with us now. We thank you for what you have prepared for us today, Lord. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would open our ears to hear and our hearts to receive all that you have for us this day. And we just honor you this day, Lord, and we thank you. We bless your name, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, so we're going to um, we're gonna get started. And the word that the Lord gave me for you ladies today is justification. Justification. Lord, thank you. We're going to turn to um, Romans chapter 4. We're going to be coming out of Romans. Um, as you know, the book of Romans is the foundation of Christianity. In Romans, you find everything about salvation, being set free, justification, redemption. Everything is in, in the book of Romans. So um, when I was praying about this, I said, Lord, you know, it's just so wonderful to know what... Um, God has prepared for us through his word. So we're going to talk about justification. Now the Greek word for justification is diakaios. D-I-K-A-I-O-S-I-S. -I 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 and yeah, D-I-K-A-I-O-S-I-S. -I diakaios. And that's the Greek word for justification. And justification means the act of God declaring men free from guilt and acceptable to him and counting them righteous. So that's justification. Oh, well, here's Denise. Come on, Denise. Hi, Denise. Come on. Hi. Hi, Denise. Hi, Denise. <laughs> Hi. 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 How are you doing? Praise Hi. God. How are you? Yeah. We, just, we just got started, Denise. We're talking about justification, and we're looking, um, we're, we're going to be reading out of the book of Romans, and we're going to start uh, at Romans 3, verse 24 through 25. And as I said earlier, justification is the act of God declaring men free from guilt and acceptable to him, and then counting them righteous. So we're going to look at Romans 3, verse 24 through 25. And who would like to read that? You said uh, 24 through 25? That's correct. <laughs> okay. Being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a procreation through faith in His blood to declare His righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. Amen. Amen. So see that justification there, declaring us not guilty, acquittal in the court of heaven, as justified freely by His grace. Grace, as we know, is what? Unmerited favor. Unmerited, Unmerited favor. favor. Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Redemption is to redeem by paying the price. And that's what Jesus did. And it says, whom God had set forth to be Propitiation. What is propitiation? Um, anybody know? Murphy. No, no. Pro propitiation. I can't even pronounce it. But it says, it's the act of God whereby He propitious or is gracious to the sinner through Jesus Christ. Is so that it's like a petition. Yeah, it's like um, His way of saying to us. Him being gracious to us because of the sins that we've committed. Um, gracious to the sinner through Jesus Christ. So it's like what he has done for us. So whom God has set forth to be the perpetuation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. So this is what God has prepared for us. So we're... We're actually justified by the blood of Jesus. You know, a lot of people don't talk about the blood. But the blood of Jesus Christ is very powerful. It is very powerful. And it's what, um, what Christ did for us on the cross. Now let's turn to Romans chapter 5, verse 18. 
Romans chapter 5, verse 18. And who would like to read Romans chapter 5, verse 18? I will. Okay. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. Amen. Amen. So therefore, as by the offense of one judgment, you want to explain that, Vanessa? By the offense of one judgment um, right. is what Adam did. did. That's right. And when Adam did what he did, when he disobeyed God's command, the sin he committed came upon upon all, all men. men. And then when Jesus came, right. that's what that, we were saved by grace. Right. For So by one person, by uh, Jesus Christ, came our redemption. Right. right. And by one man came sin and no condemnation. Right. And that's what that verse is actually saying. Oh. Amen. Okay, now, so let's turn now to Romans chapter 4. And we're going to read 17 through 25. Romans chapter 4, verse 17 through 25. And who would like to read uh, part of those verses, at least 17 through 19? So, I can do that. Okay. Um, and this is New King James Version. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. In the presence of him who he believed God, who gives life to the dead, and calls those things which do not exist as though they did, who, contrary to hope, in hope believed, so that he became the father of many nations, according to what was spoken, so shall your descendants be. And not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body, already dead since he was about a hundred years old, in the deadness of Sarah's womb. Amen. Amen. All right, now verses 20 through 25. Can I read? I can continue. Okay. <laughs> he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to, to perform. And therefore, it was accounted to him for righteousness. Now it is now it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed to him, but also for us. It shall be imputed to us who believe in him, who raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was delivered up because of our offenses and was raised because of our justification. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus, who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. So see, the justification, the act of God declaring us free from guilt and acceptable to him, and counting us righteous, righteous because of uh, justification. So it's an important word to uh, understand what, what Christ is saying and what Christ has done for us and what God is saying here in the scriptures. And, you know, as I said earlier, the book of Romans is a a great book to build the foundation, to build on, and to understand your uh, what Christ has prepared for us and what he has given us, salvation, righteousness, um, um, all, the, all the things that he's given us, righteousness, righteousness justice, um, redemption, um, just all of the grace, his mercy, all of this is in the book of Romans. So the book of Romans is actually a great book to study and to understand what Christ has done for us because it's it's it's, it's just it's just great. It's just great. Um, it is. Now any comments on any of the scriptures there that Tanita just read? I was just saying it's interesting how prior to Christ Abraham is justified by faith because he does get up and go and he right. hundred years old Still gonna, you know, be a daddy and you know, what he did, but that, you know, for us yeah. coming to the Amen. Right. So mm -hmm. the justification before the law and after the law. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that's that's good. Uh, thank thank you for bringing that out too. And then how Abraham believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken. 
and then he being not weak in his faith, mm -hmm. but he was strong in his faith, giving yeah. glory to God. So, and being fully persuaded, he wasn't just persuaded, but he was fully persuaded that which that which God had promised, he was going to bring it to pass. So, we, as we as Christians, we have to be fully persuaded, fully right. persuaded that what God has told us, what He has promised us, He He is going to bring it to pass. Yeah. Fully persuaded. No doubt, because yeah. what does is, what is Jesus say about doubt? That it's um, like, don't, he will not respond. It's like that's an right. unwavering double That's right. Double-manded man will not receive it. That's right. He will not receive anything, so no <laughs> doubt. But being fully persuaded that what God has promised, uh, he will bring it to pass. Mm -hmm. And, also and you know another thing, too, as he was giving glory to God, he was being strengthened and encouraged to even to because when you give glory to God, He's going to respond. That's right. That's so right. That he, he was being strengthened every time He did that, and He did not stagger, and He was fully prepared. Amen. Amen. So it's in, it's important that even though uh, situations that we may go through, circumstances that may happen in our life, for us to continuously give God praise, That's continuously right. rejoice in what the Lord has done. You know, our strength comes. The, st the joy of the Lord is our strength. So our strength comes when we're rejoicing. You know, you can get to a point where you have so many things coming at you, you know, like life, uh, job, uh, circumstances. Everything can kind of, you know, bend you down and kind of break you and make you feel, man, I don't have any strength. But as you begin to praise the Lord, as you begin to praise Him, your spirit will be lifted up, you know. And I want us to do something uh, right now. So we have ten fingers, right? Yes. Okay. So I want us to start. Uh, praise God. Um, praise God. We're going to go all the way to 10. We're going to praise God. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ten fingers, so yes. just think about praise. when you're going through a situation, just say praise God. And then when you get into it, I mean, God just gives you that strength yes. to praise Him in the midst of whatever it is that you're going through. Did you just feel that? Oh, I, mean, seven, I just yeah, felt that. Six, yeah. Seven, so seven, you just continue seven. to praise God. Praise God. He deserves mm -hmm. the praise and the glory. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So then now, let's look at, again, Romans chapter 5. And we're going to read verses 1 through 11. So who would like to read verses 1 through 11? I will. Thank you. Wait, we'll wait now for some. Okay. Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commended his love toward us, and that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You, Much Jesus. more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through, through him. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also join in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. So I know there's some scriptures here that you want to comment on, but I'm going to comment first on one thing. Thank you, Jesus. It says, verse 9, Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. So we're saved from wrath because of the blood that Jesus shed uh, for us. So I just thank, thank the Lord for what he has done and what he's doing in our lives. So is, would there be any other comments? Um, like rejoicing in tribulations? Yeah. You're going step by step. Yeah. <coughs> of course, you're going to um, 
That's right. You gotta you gotta have patience first. Right. Well the tribulations work the patience because right. it's not going